This video highlights some of the new and updated features of Brightspace Learning Environment 20.21.11. Brightspace Editor, additional support for drag and drop and copy paste images, updated. Expanding further on the Brightspace Editor, drag and drop and copy paste images, updated feature discussions thread feedback released in October 2021 20.21.10 and Brightspace Editor, improvements, Updated feature released in May 2021 20.21.5, additional tools and editors now support the drag and drop and copy paste functionality, including Quizzes, Feedback Grades, Feedback Grades, Comments Discussions, Post Feedback Discussions, Thread Feedback this functionality is now available in user-specific areas that may contain images with learner-sensitive information. As a result, these images are stored in the database rather than the Manage Files area of a course offering. In addition, the course copy function does not include these images. This feature is available to all clients and is automatically enabled for all users. Content Customize language terms in the new content experience, updated. This feature builds on the content, customize language terms in the new content experience, new feature released in October 2021. With this release, administrators can use language management to override default language terms in the new learner experience. This allows administrators to use terminology that is consistent with their organization, for example, using custom terms for a unit lesson, and folder. Previously, language terms were only customizable in the new content experience. Language terms for the new learner experience are located in Package, Content, Collection, Sequence, View Package, Web Components, Collection, D2L Sequences backslash D2L Sequences This feature is available to all clients. To enable Use language management to customize language terms that appear in the new learner experience. Content, PDF Inline Viewer Menu Improvements, Updated This feature updates the PDF Inline Viewer used when showing all converted documents, for example Word documents, as PDFs within Brightspace Classic Content. As a result, the PDF Inline Viewer menu has moved to the top of the PDF document along with PDF navigation and actions and an overall refreshed button design. Users who have d2l.tools.documentviewers.custom PDF renderer enabled configuration variable set to on also see the updates for all original PDFs, i.e. PDF files. d2l.tools.documentviewers.custom PDF renderer enabled also forces all original PDFs to also use the same viewer as converted documents. This has the benefit of consistent PDF viewer within the Content Classic interface and it is recommended that customers that do not need restrictions on printing and or downloading enable this variable as this respects printing and or downloading permissions. This feature is available to all users of Brightspace Classic content. This feature is automatically enabled for all users when viewing converted documents. To enable this feature for original PDFs, Set the d2l.tools.documentViewers.custom PDF renderer enabled configuration variable to on. Data Hub, Auditor Relationships Log Brightspace Data Set, New To increase the value of the Data Hub offering, this release adds the new Auditor Relationships Log Brightspace Data Set, aka BDS. In the data set, each row represents an auditor learner relationship that was created or deleted. The new dataset is available with the November 2021 20.21.11 release, however it may appear blank unless new auditor-learner relationships are added. All historical data is populated within 30 to 60 days after clients receive the new dataset. This feature implements PI item D6664. This feature is available to Brightspace Insights and Brightspace Core clients in all regions. To enable Ensure that can access Brightspace data sets permission is granted to administrators at the org level. The user auditors tool and the d2l.tools.usermanagement.org has auditors configuration variable must both be enabled.
New data sets appear the first time the data set runs after the CD update. Email, increase limits for to and CC fields, updated. This feature increases the number of email addresses that can be added to the to and CC fields in a single email to 200. This is a result of increased limits on the size of headers in Brightspace SMTP servers. Previously, the limit was 50 email addresses. This feature is available to all clients. To enable, ensure that the user has the access email permission enabled at the org unit level for their role. Manage files, users receive warning message when uploading a file block due to security, new. This feature provides the user with a warning message if they attempt to upload a file with an extension that is either not allowed by the assignment or is on the security restricted list. This message appears as this file extension is not allowed for assignments, and as this file extension is not allowed for security reasons. Please see our Restricted File Extensions article in the D2L community for more detailed information for security restricted file extensions. Users can restrict assignment extension types by enabling the d2l.tools.dropbox.restrict file extensions configuration variable. This feature implements PI item D3945. This feature is available to all clients. The functionality for security restricted file extensions is automatically enabled for Brightspace learning environment users. To enable this functionality for assignment file extensions, set the d2l.tools.dropbox.restrict file extensions configuration variable to on. Work to do widget, date range configuration variables, updated. To increase the value of the widgets, work to do widget, new feature released in May 2021 20.21.5, there are now two configuration variables available to customize date ranges used by the widget. The d2l.tools.worktodo.overdo week limit, org, configuration variable sets the date range that determines how far into the past overdue items appear in the work to do widget. By default, the widget displays items with due dates for the previous 12 weeks, which administrators can increase up to 52 weeks. The d2l.tools.worktodo.upcoming week limit, org, Configuration variable sets the date range that determines how far into the future upcoming items appear in the work to do widget. By default, the widget displays items with due or end dates within the upcoming two weeks, which administrators can increase up to 52 weeks. To set these two configuration variables, administrators require the can see slash edit config variable values permission. This feature is available to all Brightspace core clients using the work to do widget. To set these configuration variables, administrators require the can see slash edit config variable values permission. SCORM, improved editing and new content experience, new. An improved editing experience for SCORM topics is available to instructors in the new content experience. With the new create and edit experience enabled, a new edit page for SCORM topics allows instructors to edit dates and associated grade items. Previously, users could not set dates or change the associated grade item in the new content experience. The d2l.tools.content.lessons create experience opt-in configuration variable must be enabled in order for the new SCORM editing page to be visible. The new editing experience only applies to SCORM packages added to Brightspace learning environment using the content service, other import methods will be supported in a future release. This feature is available to all clients. To enable with the new content experience enabled, ensure that d2l.tools.content.lessons create experience opt-in is set to on, or on, opt-in.